Hello and welcome. So welcome to Art by Jenny Lynn James. We're waiting for a few more friends to show up. visiting today who's joining me please put your name in the chat box oh Magda hi Magda how are you doing thanks for joining great to see you <laughs> online <laughs> I'm going to put my art uh, link in the chat box So we'll wait for a few more people. How is everything in the UK? Send me a message. Let's hear what's happening over there. So I'm adjusting the Instagram live view. Let's hope this works now. I'm still waiting for one or two more to join us. Welcome. Hello. Who else has joined us? your name in the chat box. Let me know who else has joined us. So we'll just we'll give two more minutes and then we'll get started. 
thank you so much for coming this afternoon. So this is the first time I'm attempting Instagram Live and Facebook Live simultaneously. So a great experiment, we'll see what happens. And since we're showing jazz paintings, I have some smooth jazz playing in the background. which we can all travel all over. We just have to wait for this time to pass. This too shall pass, we hope. Yeah, I got a lot of inspiration from uh, New Orleans jazz musicians and I'm going to speak a little about that in the presentation. Okay, I'll wait one more minute and then we'll get started. Well, good afternoon and thank you so much for joining me. This is the first of a series of uh, presentations about my art. So I'll tell you a little bit about um, my work as an artist. I started painting as an adult in 2009, quite by accident. I was living in Ireland at the time and I had a life-changing event and a friend suggested that I go and take an art class and I would feel better, that's what she said. So I went to an artist's home in Waterford in Ireland and the artist found that I was very good at sketching and drawing. So I was introduced to portraiture and um, using oils to create beautiful portraits. And at that time I wanted to paint Caribbean people. So the first subject that I painted was Caribbean people and carnival characters. Now since I moved to Toronto in 2011 I continued painting and in the last few years I've decided to paint musicians and singers. I have a, a great music background. I sang and uh, played the piano since I was a child. So I really like music. It's a huge part of my life and I like to paint musicians and singers. While I paint, I listen to jazz music because it's very calming, soothing, especially smooth jazz, like what we have playing in the background. So I like to listen to jazz while I paint. So I'm going to show you some of my earlier jazz paintings, just a few of them, the big ones, and then I'll show you some of the new work. So this was one of the first jazz paintings that I did and it's called Cotton Club. So you know in Harlem they had the famous um, Cotton Club in, during the Harlem Renaissance. And so a lot of black uh, musicians and singers would gather together at the Cotton Club to entertain. So this piece is acrylic on canvas and it's uh, 16 by 20 inches. So acrylic on canvas, you can see um, someone playing the tuba, drums, trumpet, saxophone, trombone, even a lady playing saxophone. So it's inspired by photos I've seen of the Cotton Club and the musicians that performed there in the 1920s. So that was the inspiration for this piece and I did this work back in 2015. So this was one of the first jazz paintings that I've done. I'm going to pull out some more to show you. This 
is a new-ish piece. When I say new, I, I produced this um, in 2018, at the end of 2018. It's called Aretha. So it's a tribute painting to Aretha Franklin. As you know, she died August 2018. And I decided to do and um, a tribute painting to Aretha. So this is Aretha sitting at the piano in a club. And if you look closely, you see just the tops of people's heads, right? So Aretha's face is the only face you see. Her head is thrown back and she's belting out the notes in the song. And all the others, you just see the tops of their heads. So it's a bird's eye view. Of the club. I've done two paintings like this, a bigger one with more people in the in the club, more tables, and then this smaller one, which is 24 inches by 30 inches. Again, it's acrylic on canvas. Alright, so Aretha. Now I'll show you another one. fairly big piece and I call it more jazz it's 24 inches by 30 inches more jazz I had done one that sold for all that jazz and when all that jazz got sold I decided to do more jazz so we have these jazz musicians performing in a club bass saxophone trumpet a singer and then now um, another um, saxophonist and I've used this image recently in some uh, summer paintings that I did outdoors right when I did um, some of you may have seen the box murals that I painted recently in the city of Toronto so this was um, the image that uh, it was based on this group of musicians and I've amplified it and put you know, like people dancing above, below them. But this was the main image used to create the uh, outdoor murals that I did this summer. So, more jazz. Acrylic on canvas, 24 by 30. I call Trinity because it's three singers can anybody tell me who are these three singers I'm trying to portray here anybody has any idea let me look at the chat box who are those three let's see what you've written in the chat box there hello Gavin Morris oh hi Nicole good to see you yes yeah, so can anybody guess who are the three singers in this painting i call it trinity so we have the three ladies singing and then we have the bass we have saxophone trumpet and the pianist so great scene in the club singers and musicians so this piece is acrylic on canvas, 24 by 30 inches. I like to use acrylic because it dries quickly, it's quite forgiving. So if you make a mistake or if you think there's a mistake, you can always go back and correct it, paint over it. So I really like acrylic for that reason. So these musicians, these singers are actually the Supremes. So a version of the Supremes in their shiny dresses performing with a band. Let's look at another one. This is one of my favorites of all time. Anybody who knows my work who could tell me who this person is?
Right, so this is Hazel Scott, and Hazel Scott was born and raised in Trinidad and Tobago. Well, actually born in Trinidad and Tobago and left as a small child, moved to New York City. She was a child prodigy and she studied music at Juilliard, the Juilliard School in New York. I think from the age of five. So she was trained in classical piano playing and then went on to be a very famous jazz pianist. So here we have an image of her playing two pianos. I was inspired to do this painting after looking at a video of her on YouTube. She was highly skilled playing the piano and they said her, her hands were insured by Lloyd of London at one period in time because her hands were so famous for play, playing with great dexterity. She was one of the first women to have her own TV show in the United States. That was sometime in the 1940s. So that's a huge achievement for someone like her, if you think about it. First one, the first woman to have her own TV show named after her, the Hazel Scott Show. So here we have Hazel Scott with some jazz musicians. She was a famous jazz pianist. Okay, and again, it's acrylic on canvas, 24 by 30 inches. Let's look at another one. Now this is a nice big one. And every painting I do has a story. This one, Denise Supper Club. Last year, I happened to be in Harlem for the Harlem Book Fair. I was presenting my memoirs at the Harlem Book Fair. I was right downtown Harlem. After the book fair, we went to the Red Rooster restaurant, which is quite famous in Harlem. And down in the basement was a big jazz club. It's called the Guinea Supper Club. That night we were there. Delfeo Masales, who is portrayed in the middle here, he and his band, who are, a lot of them are members of the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra, they were performing. The music was spectacular. I videotaped them, I took a hundred photographs, and as soon as I came back to Toronto, I did this painting to commemorate the night. So, Guinea Supper Club in Harlem. It was un, an unforgettable experience, so I had to be. So, Delfeo Marsalis from New Orleans, the famous um, Marsalis family, there are many of them. Their dad was, I suppose, the original Marsalis jazz uh, musician, and then you have Winton Marsalis and others in the family. So this, this one's called Mini Supper Club, acrylic on canvas. It's 36 inches by 42 inches. Does anyone have any questions for me? Let me see in the chat box what people are saying. Oh, hi, KWI Bonify. Hazel Scott, you're correct. Yes, the Supremes. So as you can see, I, I use acrylic on canvas a lot because, as I said, it's, it's quite a forgiving medium. So easy to um, correct mistakes. If you make a mistake, you can just paint over it. No problem. <laughs> so at the moment, acrylic is my favorite medium. Now, let us look at another painting. So this one is a painting of a Cameroonian saxophonist who died recently during the COVID-19 pandemic. Does anybody know who it is? Put in the chat box who you think it is. There's a very famous Cameroonian saxophonist and his 
music spanned five decades. So he's been, um, he was playing for many, many, many years. Anybody knows who it is? Put, put, it in, put his name in the chat box if you think you know. Anybody? Take a guess. In the seventies, he had a famous song called Soul Makusa. So if I tell you Soul Makusa, do you know who he is? Okay, this is Manu Tibango. Manu Tibango. So he died in May of um, COVID-19. He was an elderly person, of course. So I did down. Um, mixed media with this song um, portrait of manu the bango or this tribute painting so it's acrylic and then i stuck on jewels because when manu performed he would wear the most amazing jeweled dashikis i mean it was never plain clothing he always had a very colorful coat you know like joseph and the amazing technical dream coat well it was manu and his very colorful shirts and dashi keys etc so this painting is to commemorate the life and the music of manu Dibango, who died this year 2020 during the covid 19 pandemic now i have another tribute painting for manu bigger one So this one, 36 by 42 inches, we have a lot of musicians paying tribute to Manu de Bango. So it's a host of them, host of great folks, some of them deceased, some of them living. So this is Manu de Bango going up to heaven playing his uh, saxophone. And then we have some who are alive here. We have um, Len Booksy Sharp. I stuck in uh, Jimi Hendrix for good measure. Trombone Shorty, John Coltrane, um, Louis Armstrong, Esperanza Spaulding, Arturo um, Tappin. Um, I stuck in the Supremes and then also Hazel Scott. So we have a lot of people celebrating the life of Manu de Bango, and we have the dancers at the bottom. So this is a, a big work, I'm quite proud of it. It's uh, one of my favorite pieces that I've uh, produced so far. It's acrylic on canvas, 36 by 42 inches. So one of my favorite uh, paintings. And I did this during the pandemic. You know when we had to stay indoors and go nowhere, I had a lot of time to paint. So this one was one of the favorites, listening to Manu de Bango's music and painting the tribute. I put in steel pans so you know we have a pan jazz fusion in this um, music scene. So you could look at the scene and you can actually hear the music. That's why you see people are dancing and enjoying here. We should join them. So when you look at this piece, you hear the music, you imagine yourself also dancing to the music. How about that? Yes, so that one I did earlier this year during the pandemic. What does anybody think? Send me a note. Oh yes, tap and get in true. That's great. <laughs> KWI Bonaparte. Let's see, Nadge writing, beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thanks for joining. Hi, Anne Marie. Hi, uh, Jill. Good to see you. Right. So, where well, I did um, quite a few paintings with a beige background. I don't know if you all have noticed. So, many of them had the beige background, and I decided um, in the summer to do a series with blue backgrounds 
And so at this launch, I'm going to show for the first time many of the paintings that I've done recently with blue backgrounds. So it's quite new. I had been doing the beige backgrounds for quite a while, both uh, jazz and classical music pieces. And this summer, I decided to do a similar theme with jazz musicians and also blues musicians but on a blue background, just for a change. So now I'm going to show you those uh, pieces. They're brand new. So this is the launch for blues on blue and jazz on blue. Okay, so let's put away Manu's tribute and I'll bring out some of the blues. So we have some little pieces here on blue again as you can see jazz musicians I call this one the jazz boys so the jazz boys you have a trumpeter two trumpeters and a bass you can create a nice bit of noise on the street with this or in a jazz bar so these are the jazz boys acrylic on canvas eight inches by eight inches and for those of you who are not familiar with my art I'm going to put the uh, website in the chat box so you can go and take a look after we have finished here right so just go and take a look at the art I've put the link in the chat box so here we have the jazz voice acrylic on canvas eight inches by eight inches so a nice little one great to decorate a corner of the room if you don't have much space these little ones are cute and um, you know good for, for limited space but quite effective for brightening up the space so you see the difference to the um, beige background and the blue background I think they work well this one Duke Ellington now he is a famous one. I have some notes on Duke Ellington. Let me see what I remember here. Let me look at the notes. <laughs> so Duke Ellington, born Edward Kennedy, Duke Ellington, 1899 to 1974. So he was famous for playing in the Cotton Club back in I guess in 1920s you know when the cotton club in Harlem was was popular so he had a huge jazz orchestra and they would play in the cotton club and he also toured all around Europe so this is a, a miniature one eight inches by eight inches Duke Ellington and a few musicians I have a bigger one because Duke Ellington had a huge jazz orchestra so let me show you that one that painting I like a lot and it's brand new so this is Duke Ellington and his jazz orchestra you would have seen rows and rows of musicians if you look at some old recordings on YouTube so an orchestra like this but all the jazz instruments you would have found in the uh, cotton club and now these days you also have the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra I was lucky to, to see them last year when I went to um, Detroit Jazz Festival the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra was there and ro two rows of musicians lots of brass absolutely spectacular so it was a wonderful show so here we have Duke Ellington, he was always suave in the best suits, very good looking man, always well dressed with his hair slicked back. And then you have the brass instruments, percussion, and of course the bass, he always had the bass, and guitars as well. Right, so this one is 20 inches by 24 inches, and um, acrylic on canvas again. So as you see, it's quite a little different to the 
full set of work that I had done on the beige background. Now we have the bright blue background, but I think it's quite effective in uh, brightening up a room. So I'm going to put this up here. We have our Duke Ellington painting. Now let me show you another little one. This one I call a jazz in time. <laughs> a jazz in time saves night. So a jazz in time. It's similar to all that jazz and more jazz. You know, we have um, the musicians huddle around the bass making music. So the type of scene you would find in a jazz club or if it's a jazz festival on the street, you might see a scene like this. The saxophones, the trumpets, the bass. So I call this one a jazz in time. It's eight inches by eight inches, acrylic on canvas. So it's one of those cute little ones, very nice to decorate any space. Now, this is one of my favorites. Who could tell me who's portrayed in this painting here? Put your ideas in the chat box. Let me know who you think I've portrayed here. So this one is brand new. First time I'm showing it to anybody. <laughs> Again, it's acrylic on canvas. This is 20 inches by 24 inches. So give me your ideas in the chat box. Who do you think I have in this painting? Anybody? Let's see. In the chat box, somebody tell me who you think is portrayed here. Any ideas, people? Let me see, what are the comments? I'm not seeing any, uh, any uh, guesses. Guess who's in this painting? Again, the theme here, yeah, these three. You know these three. Who are they? <laughs> So we have the Supremes. I like to put them in. Oh yes, very good, KWI Bonapai. Nina Simone. We have Nina Simone in her glory at the piano with a beautiful head hairstyle because she loved to do various um, African style hairstyles and spectacular earrings. And Nina Simone is joined by the Supreme in our imaginary concert. So it must have been grand. Just think about it. Nina's voice, some uh, jazz instruments, and then backed up by the Supremes. What could be better? So this one is called Nina and the Supremes, of course. Nina Simone and the Supremes. So it's a brand new painting, acrylic on canvas, 24, 20 inches by 24 inches. So I just finished this one and um, I'm quite excited by it. I even put a little glitter in the, the girls' um, dresses, their evening dresses. A little touch of glitter. I don't know if you can see it with the, um, the camera on the laptop. But it's one of my favorites. So Nina and the Supremes. Now I'm going to show you another one. During the pandemic this year, we had quite a few elders who died. And this was one of them. Can anybody guess who this is? Who am I portraying here? I'll give you some hints. Rock and roll. He's said to be the inventor of rock and roll. 
who's the inventor, the instigator of rock and roll. He would have these big elaborate hairstyles, straighten out hair. I don't know if there were wigs or his own hair, but he always had big hairstyles. So who do you think this one is? He died in May this year. He was quite elderly, but um, he died during the pandemic. So one of the music, um, music greats that we lost during the pandemic this year. Anybody knows? Little Richard, that's correct, Little Richard. So this image was inspired by a, um, a remastered video I'd seen online. They took a black and white video of Little Richard singing now, Tutti Fruity, and they added some color to it. And when I saw that video, I thought, ooh, I could do a little something. So it was actually a black and white video. And I decided to put the blue background and then put um, some color to it. So this was Little Richard with his bay hair style playing. And he'd stand at the piano, not sit. At least in this video, he was standing and playing. Then he'd do a little dance, then stand and continue playing at the piano. So Little Richard singing Tutti Freddy, oh really. So this is a nice big one, acrylic on canvas. 30 inches by 36 inches and you can see it on my website I put the link in the chat box so little Richard tribute to little Richard so he is another one who passed on this year he had quite a few now let me show you Another one that I have just finished. And we're almost done with the blue series. This is one that I have just finished. So it's the first time that anybody's seeing this creation. Does anybody know who this one is? It's the first time I'm showing it to anybody. Brand new painting. Who am I portraying here in the middle with her musicians backing her up? If you think you know, put the name in the chat box. She had gardenias in her hair. That was a signature look. So quite conservative dresses for a singer, a jazz singer and she would always put gardenias in her hair. She had a, a unique style of improvisational uh, jazz singing. So she brought a lot to the, uh, the whole jazz arena when it comes to singing. Anybody knows? Take a guess, put a name in the chat box. Geraldine Lewis? No, no, no. Please um, in the chat box, see if you can, can guess who this one is. The gardenias in her hair. Anybody? They said she had a very difficult childhood, so it's a miracle that she actually became such a um, prolific uh, singer and such a well-known jazz singer over the years. So, Billy, that's correct, Billy Holiday. So one of her signature appearances, you know, let's see, gardenias in her hair. And she would perform in clubs in New York City and other cities, but mainly New York. She probably did some tours to Europe as well. So Billy Holiday and her jazz band in the club so remember that tribute painting i did to aretha franklin well in billy's tribute i put a few pub goers with their drinks enjoying the music as you see because you can't have 
someone performing in the club and not have a few people enjoying the music, right? So we had to put them in for good measure. This one was a lot of fun to paint because when I put when I paint a musician or a singer, I like to show that people are appreciating the music. So you have to put in some audience just to show that the audience is appreciating what's going on. Right, so this is Billy Holiday. Brand new painting, acrylic on canvas, 24 inches by 30 inches. So you can check out this painting and others on my website for those who have just joined us i'm going to put the link to the website in the chat box so you can go and check out all the jazz paintings just by following the link in the chat box so billy holiday had a lot of fun painting this one and the audience characters too <laughs> you know their clothes and what drink they're going to hold, you know, hold a cigarette. In those days, they could smoke in the bar. That was quite popular. When you're enjoying your music, you puff a long cigarette or a cigar. So, Billy Holiday. Enjoying the blue background. Thank you so much. Yes, it was quite a change moving from beige to blue, but I quite enjoy the, um, the blue backgrounds. Great to brighten up a space too. Now, so we have one more new painting to show in this blue background series. And that's this one. So I did this last month. And some of you may have seen it on my Facebook page or Instagram. Who knows the uh, singer portrayed here. Anybody knows? So this scene would have been from the 1920s. Who's portrayed here? Put the name in the chat box. Yes, folks really dressed back in the day. Oh yes, they dressed up a lot in the past. The way we dress now, I think um, if we were in the 1920s, people would frown on us because in that time in Harlem and the, um, other parts, other cities in the United States, black Americans dressed up all the time, even to go shopping, to go to work, women and men were dressed to the nines, the men's wore it. The men would wear their suits and their hats. The women would have elegant clothing, gloves, beautiful pumps, you know, nice shoes, handbags to match, hats. They were always well dressed. So, who knows who this one is? Josephine, that's correct. So, Josephine Baker and the flappers. So, you know, the flappers, ladies would dress up and wear feathers in their hair or hats nice long um, necklaces pearls shiny dresses dresses with fringes so i had a lot of fun painting this one and putting in all the um, characters who are enjoying the music because the flappers love to dance so we had to put in some dancing flappers in this piece so this is one of my favorites again it's acrylic on canvas 24 inches by 30 inches so a nice fun piece we have Josephine in the middle in her splendor in a lovely gown she was a great entertainer you know when Josephine started she, she had danced naked with bananas around her waist but later on in years to come she was known to dress elegantly I mean the most elegant clothing for singing she lived in Paris so no, she was born in St. Louis, Missouri. She moved to France and became a naturalized French uh, citizen. She helped with the, um, the resistance movement during Second World War and got lots of French awards. And she also helped with the civil rights movement in the States one time, came back to help with that. So Josephine Baker, 
in her glory splendid gown we have a few jazz musicians performing with her and the flappers enjoying the music so this one is the last in the blue series let's hang it up here I put Josephine in a shiny dress and many of the flappers are wearing shiny dresses as well so thank you so much everybody that's the end of the blue background series does anyone have any questions for me I hope you enjoyed my paintings because I enjoy creating them and I was so happy to be able to share with you this afternoon I have um, a new publication coming out on blurb.com with all the jazz paintings and classical music paintings. I'll show you some of the, the old publications. On blurb.com I have one publication, Trinidad and Tobago Carnival. So these are some of the older paintings that I did the carnival characters. So it's a collection of paintings of carnival characters that I did over the years. I have another publication, Essence of the Caribbean. So paintings of Caribbean people that I did over the years. There's a hardcover book with a dust jacket. This one is eight by 10. And town and country, so images of Toronto. So that's one publication. I also have a hardcover coffee table book with images of the paintings. And I have a new book that's going to be coming out soon with all the, the jazz paintings and classical music paintings. So what I'll do, I think I'll put um, I'll put the link in the chat box if there's anybody interested in publications. And then I'll also put the link to my website. You can go to my website and look at all the uh, paintings and more that I didn't show you this afternoon because there's so many of them. But when you get time, you can check out all the paintings on my website. And if you're interested in art books, the new book, it's a nice one. It's going to be um, 11 by 13 inches. Nice for the coffee table. And I'll have images of all the um, jazz musicians there. So you go on the blurb.ca website, you will see I posted that up there last week. So you can look at the book. You can actually flip through all the pages in the book. If you go to that blurb.ca link that I put in the chat box. For those on uh, Instagram, what I'm referring to blurb.ca.user.com slash Lindy James. You can find me there on blurb.ca. And then my website, jennylynjames.pixels, P-I-X-E-L-S dot com. That's a website where you can view all the paintings. So Magda asks, how long does it take to complete a painting? Well, that's a great question. It depends. There's no one answer. Because sometimes I would start a painting and then leave it for a week and then come back to it and then come back another day. But if I give myself a deadline, I could do a painting in one day. You know, if there's a rush. For example, I knew I was doing a presentation today and in the blue background, so I had to finish about four of them this week. So that is not really um, the norm, but I rushed to finish them because I knew I gave myself the deadline. Today, I was going to present them to you all. And so, when I have a deadline, I can work quickly. <laughs> 
but as you hear the jazz music in the background this is a lovely track from um, YouTube and um, so even though I'm, uh, I have a, um, a deadline I can still relax with smooth jazz while I paint any other questions let's see what are the questions people have here Any other questions? Let me see. Thanks everyone. Uh, oh, Joe Hollins with Jill. Thanks so much for joining me. Any questions for me? Any more questions? Or comments? So as I said, if you want to check out my paintings, go to jennylynnjames.pixels.com. The website is there. And if you want to check out the um, art books, you look for me at blurb.ca, B-L-U-R-B.ca. Just look for my name. You will see all the books pop up. But I recently posted coffee table book with only jazz musicians and classical music musicians and you can flip through all the pages in the book and see what it looks like so great on a coffee table oh you like the background music yes thank you that is a nice track that um, my daughter found on youtube so it's great to have if we're talking about jazz it's great to have jazz music any other questions or comments? Just put, put your question or comment in the chat box and I'll try and answer. Okay, so if nobody has uh, more any questions or comments, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I know you could be anywhere on a Sunday afternoon, but I'm so happy you chose to be with me this afternoon. It's the first art launch online. I'm happy to see everyone this evening. And you have to do this again some other time. Next time, choose a different uh, subject. And we'll show you some art based on the theme. Thank you so much again for joining me. I'm going to sign off now. So, this video will be available on um, my Instagram page and also my Facebook page. If you want to look at it again or share it with a friend, please share with friends so that they can see what they missed. So, as soon as I post the recording online, please share it with your friends. Ask them to, to like Jenny Lynn James. Uh, or Art by Jenny Lynn James Facebook page. Please like my page and share the video with some friends so they can enjoy the paintings as well. For those on Instagram, it's Art by Jenny Lynn James Instagram page. So you can also share the video with friends so they can see what they missed. Thank you so much for joining. Bye bye. <laughs>